This show is more about society, more than the media. We fought very hard uh, for access to information. And everyone needs to know what's going on in our country. Media spends a lot of time telling you what you need to know. It's really, really bad here. at the bench. The only tuck shop that was on their street. The residents and the possible looters would be a lot more wary of the army. Now is the time for you to ask the very same media questions. On the issue of the looting that took place. There were a series of images that were disturbing. We are not that much hit. We are not here to sugarcoat issues. We are here to state facts as they are. Don't miss the video of the week. And the game changer. You are our game changer of the week, Jackie Pamote. People want to know what can they do? Every Sunday between 9 and 10 a.m. Central African time here on SABC News, independent and impartial. Welcome back and thanks for staying with the agenda. The Democratic Alliance has given the Electoral Court a deadline of the end of today to agree to stick to their prescribed time frame for holding the elections. This and to insert uh, a registration period ahead of the elections along with a mechanism to reopen the voters' roll in order to add new names. The voting roll was closed when the election date of the 27th of October was proclaimed by Cooperative Governance Minister Nkosazana Lamini Zuma earlier this week. The Democratic Alliance says it will also ask to be joined as a party in the IEC's urgent application to the Constitutional Court so it can put forward its views as a respondent to the fight for a rapid election and voter registration process. The National Institute for Communicable Diseases says 458 people have died in the latest reporting period, taking the overall death toll from COVID-19 to 73,873. Meanwhile, South Africa's vaccination program has gained pace as the country has now vaccinated over 8 million people. The NICD says 13,777 people tested positive for the coronavirus in the last 24-hour cycle, with almost 62,000 tests being conducted. Also, the newly appointed Minister of Health, Dr. Joe Partler, together with the Director General, Dr. Sandile Telezi, and the panel of experts uh, will convene a media briefing, uh, or rather convened a media briefing this morning, uh, this in government efforts in the fight against COVID-19 and the National Vaccination Rollout Program. The briefing was streamed live on the National Department of Health and the South African government social media channels. Destitute South Africans can begin applying for the Social Relief of Distress Grant from today. The 350 Rand Social Relief Grant will this time around also be available for caregivers. President Sir Ramaphosa recently announced the reintroduction of the grant amid concerns about the impact of violence and looting on the poorest of the poor. People are encouraged to make sure their bank details or cell phone numbers are correct when they apply as this is key to receiving payment. Some residents of uh, Volmaranstadt in the northwest have expressed concern at what they say is harassment by the police in their area. They claim that police members don't follow proper protocols when arresting alleged criminals. This comes in the wake of the arrest of some residents this week, allegedly without any reason what that they were aware of. Some residents who were allegedly targeted are in hiding, claiming it's for their safety. Zebulon Maine and video journalist Mzwake Shabalala compiled this report. Residents allege that they were confronted by police this past Tuesday. At the time, they had gathered in front of their church to discuss the funeral arrangements of a church member. They claimed they were harassed and detained at the local police station and were released later without being charged. One of them, who did not want his identity revealed, explained what happened. We were with a disabled church member. They then dragged him down and was also beaten. We did ask them, what is it that we have done? They did not respond. Instead, we were told to shut up. They even insulted us, particularly the white guy, telling us we will rot in jail because we do as we please in town. We kept on asking, what is it that we have done? 
but they never responded. Another victim who is disabled was allegedly beaten by the police. His wife, who also did not want her identity revealed, spoke of their ordeal. She says she's not happy about the way her husband was beaten. She's hurt. She wants to take steps against those police because she wants to understand why her husband was beaten because he is disabled. Police have confirmed that one of the victims has opened a case of assault against the police and that the case has been referred to the Independent Police Investigative Directorate, IPID. Meanwhile, the group is considering a joint legal action against the police. Zeblon Maine, SABC News, Volmaranstadt.